they were saying that you're responsible for 200 murders in Baltimore. 200. Yeah, that's that, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. So then, was it 1995 where you get arrested uh, and charged with the, the kilos? 95. Uh, no, 95, I was arrested and charged with actually... Uh, Four murders and two murder conspiracy, attempt murder, and, and a whole gang of firearms. Now, that was, okay, what happened? Yeah, that was 95, January. Okay. So was that, was, was that the case you were convicted for or no? No, no, I was acquitted on all that. Okay. So, but there was a situation where you were charged with trafficking 30 kilos of heroin. Yeah, that was... Uh, it was a 90. When I was arrested, April 17th, 90. Okay, so so which which case was it when you were ultimately convicted? What, what year was that? That was the case. That was a federal one. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so in that case, you were charged with trafficking 30 kilos of heroin with a street value of $10 million. And at that point, the law enforcement was calling you a super kingpin. True. Now, I had never heard that term before or after. What exactly did they say is a super kingpin? The definition of a super kingpin is someone who sells 15 keys of heroin or earn $10 million within, what, two years or something like that. Okay. So you get charged with that. And I guess they gave you a 35-year plea deal? Yeah, they offered me one, yeah. I, t I okay. declined it, of course. So you declined the plea deal, and you decided to take it to trial. Right. Were you given a bail at that point, or are you sitting in, in no, jail no waiting bail. for the trial? No, no bail. bail. Part, of okay. the, part of that strategy was to keep me in jail so they can uh, persuade people to uh, testify against me. If I'm in jail, behind bars, they can run around Baltimore City and have their way, you know. If I'm on the street, they, the investigation don't go anywhere. You know? How long were you locked up waiting for trial? Uh, about 13, 14 months. Okay, over a year. Yeah, and the question is why, you know, so long, you know. Since we're supposed to have a speedy trial, you know, within six months. Yeah. The question is why, and I'll tell you why. Because they didn't have a case against me in this. They didn't have a case. They never do have cases. They make these big drug buses, and they put guys behind jail, and that's when they get their case, because a lot of guys can't hold water. And they start talking and telling them, and they turn them against each other, you know. Then they have a case, you know. They thought right. they had a case against me. They watching me, following me. Well, uh, how many people ended up testifying against you? Uh, civilians, non-police witnesses, I would say maybe 10. And out of them 10, they were mostly foreigners. They were not uh, local Baltimoreans, people that I knew. These were people that was, in other cases, trying to go home, trying to earn a get out of jail free card from the federal government. And, but people actually, I know it wasn't, I mean, it was maybe like three, you know. People that got on okay. stand to testify. So three people that were close to you ended up turning on you. Yeah, they wasn't even close to me. Nobody mm -hmm. that was close to me turned. Okay. These were people that knew me. You know. 